What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. As you can tell by the title today guys, we picked up a brand new team of the year. It was Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, no particular real need for him. Uh, wow, that's got to be a joke, right? I just bought him for 990 and I sniped him at 990 as well. He was selling at 995s and 1 mils and such. And uh, if he's actually at 9. 70 now I'm, a, I'm just just typical me you know it's one of those things that i've had as as a as a knack for the last oh, i don't know about 10 years um and that's every time i buy a player he immediately drops in price now how was it that like genuinely an hour ago he was 995 and i i just i was sitting there just sniping sniping one went on bid for 996 and now all of a sudden there's pages and including one at nine uh, nine sixty. So I've overpaid thirty five k on him already. Um, but the 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 thought process behind buying him was I had you know one point some of million coins. We went and bought Mbappe yesterday and added him to the team. Um, I, I, as I say, I didn't particularly need Trent Alexander Arnold. I, I just want him. I want to start filling in the gaps of this team with the bigger and better players and working towards something else. Uh, whilst we're playing champs and still enjoying the road to glory as the road to glory, which for at least the next few weeks is where it's going to stay. Uh, and the reason being is because we are in a promo, did we just sell two more items or is that, uh, no, Sarabia and Marksman there? Um, because we're, we're in a promo and there's, you know, this promo lasts for two weeks, um, I'm going to work towards uh, obviously the, the level 20 players. I'm obviously going to take Philippe Anderson. There's no way I'd take that out of our card. Uh, we're going to work towards player and if the leaks are true, uh, Orsic um, headliners card, which by the way, could actually be a bit of a monster card. And the reason why is because, excuse the face cam here, I think the face cam is a little bit weird there. Um, the, the reason why is because he's got an 82 right now, so his headliners card will be an 84. So we'll get a bit of a bigger boost in pace, a nice boost in shooting, and his shooting's already quite good. Um, and a nice boost in dribbling as well. And it, it will make him a really, really good card. And I assume that he's going to get a winter upgrade, probably a heavy winter upgrade as well. So, so long as one of his stats surpasses one of these in-game stats, we could see some big, big upgrades to Orsic's card. And he could be a lot of fun um, to, to pick up and use in some teams. Um, so whilst we're going to still build squads, not for squad battle stuff... Um, so Bundesliga and League One hybrid squad, we, we get to build uh, at least two goals using French players. So we could build a French squad if we need to. I still need to do the uh, icon swaps. I haven't done those yet. How long have we got left? 12 days. I really better get on, on these things. Uh, basically, and I suppose for at least the rest of this season, the New Year's season, um, I'm just going to keep doing what we've been doing because I've actually been enjoying it a lot more. So what that entails is themed squad builders with the players that we have uh, for the, the season objectives. Um, and now, obviously, we're back. Now that Team of the Year is finished, we're back into playing foot champs again, which you guys are going to see some foot champs gameplay today. Uh, so, yeah, I want to start upgrading the squad. Um, and so I know I've threatened this phew, about 100 times, um, but I am at the point of listing everything back now to lazy buyers, uh, consumables, chemstyles, and position modifiers we're starting with. Um, and where I'm at with that in terms of consumables, I've got rid of all of my training cards. Uh, position modifiers we've just got the big ones that we invested in to sell on to lazy buyers so we are working through those now uh chem styles i am again in the position where we're just going to be working on selling these back off to lazy buyers anchors were a bit different i, I bought those expecting them to rise i will sell some to lazy buyers but it's mainly dead eye hawk and engine to get rid of those we don't have anything else left there uh manager league we don't really have that much like some of this uh some of this stuff is just quite irrelevant that we'll we'll never need and if we do need it, we'll be able to get it uh, when we need it, basically. You know, these these kind of chem styles are like 150 coins. Um, so that's not a uh, not a problem. That was untradeable, that one there as well. Um, and then contracts, I'm pretty much done on as well. Uh, we've got just the bare minimum left of contracts. So I'll list up uh, 20 of the gold contracts right here, right now, and get rid of those. And that's it for consumables. Oh, and then about 140 squad fitness cards as well. And I actually don't know the price of those right now. Uh, so we'll go and check on those and, you know, I, I wouldn't mind listing those up for 1,200, 1,400 coins and getting rid of those too. And every time I accumulate a decent amount of coins to be able to pick up a card, specifically the team of the year cards, but also potentially some of the headliner cards, because I think some of those cards are really, really good. But every time we're able to improve the squad in an area with a team of the year card, we will. Um, 
Now that's actually not going to be too easy because I've forced myself into a bit of a hybrid here, but we've got the luxury of having um, a lot of uh, a lot of different um, players available that are high end. You know, for example, right now that Jordi Alba doesn't make my team because I'm using Furlan Mendy to perfect link Sergio uh, to perfect link. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Raphael Varane, right? So if I went and bought, for example. Um, Andy Robertson, who I would probably play at centre back, not at left back, unless I went and got that Fabian Shah card, uh, which I don't know if I want. So we're we're nearly at a point where we can purchase Robertson already. He's at seven eighty right now. For me, that that's you know, team of the year defenders are not necessarily going to be a game changer compared to team of the year midfielders and attackers. I'm just a bit far away from the next midfielder or attacker, and I think I would like to get Man A in the team. I know he's not. Um, not really build as like someone who's sensational maybe it's because he's four star four star uh, you know when i used him the one time that i used him in draft he seemed to hit the post a lot but i want to start adding in the super high end meta players for champs so i need to start going in for a neymar i need to start going in for you know a kante even if it is just his uh regular card basically just got to get my my squad into a point where it's it's overpowered and the reason why I've, i kind of want to do that is because using this kevin de bruyne you guys saw some of the goals he scored for me in yesterday's video he scored some equally impressive goals in today's games as well he is just he is so far above anything i've used in fifa this year that it's it, it just makes me so desperately want to play with the best players uh but not I, I, i'm not ready to change to a fifa point road to glory just yet so you know, our team as it is, is brilliant. Edison is obviously brilliant. He goes up to 96, 92, 99, 98, 96. As far as a goalkeeper goes, David Luiz has been genuinely fantastic. He is such a good card. Trent, for the four games that he's played, has been very good. He scored a goal as well. It was a free kick. Uh, Rafael Varane is obviously still, to this, you know, to this day, one of the better players in the game. Uh, I know he has a headliners card and a couple of informs. His informs, generally speaking, aren't that high enough rated for me to engage. Like his 87 inform is 410k. Uh, it's two pace, two defending, three physical. I'm, I'm just not really willing to part with that amount of coins for that small of an upgrade. Um, his headliner card is almost 900k. Obviously, it will go up to an 89, um, but it's it's a fair bit better because of the reactions, composure, and passing boost uh, that he gets. Um, so we, we might go back into, you know, a headliner Rafael Varane. Uh, Kylian Mbappe has been brilliant since we picked him up as well. 11 games, 11 goals, and 5 assists, which is very, very nice. This Di Maria card is a bit of a weird one for me because I, I do love it. I've played almost 100 games with this card. He fits certain metas of this game because of the five-star skill moves. Uh, and, you know, even though he has a two-star weak foot and outside the foot shot trait, uh, it, it it hampers just how you mentally play with him. Because, like, in terms of shooting, he's fine. But in terms of passing and dribbling, you're always trying to position yourself onto the left foot for the passes and the crosses and stuff. And so it does influence how I play. So I, I think I might go for a Neymar here up in that left wing spot. Uh, it won't impact Akuna or Bataglia. Their chemistry will still be um, just perfect. And then, and then we'll have the five-star, five-star Neymar on there. Um, you know, he's 740k right now, so we could go and pick him up. And of course, he would still get perfect chemistry, no problem at all. Uh, Akuna and Bataglia, for me, are both brilliant. I, I, I don't need to upgrade these cards just yet. They both do a fantastic job. I never come out of a game thinking, oh, if I'd just had a Vieira or a Team of the Acante, I probably would have won that. That's not how I feel of that. So I'm happy with those two guys. But yeah, Di Maria, as much as I wax lyrical about him, uh, I think he's much better suited as a super sub rather than a starter. And then this guy right here, Bernardo Silva, 14 assists and five goals from 28 games. I'll be honest, guys, I hate this card. I don't think he's very good at all. Um, he, he just doesn't get involved in the game at, at all. His dribbling is insane. He's got 99 stamina. His passing is maxed out with this chem style. His shooting is like super high tier with this this chem style his pace is great you know but once again i don't know if it's the high or high work rates i don't know if it's the three star weak foot i just don't really get on with this card um so we've got an opportunity to move away from him and move into a different premier league right mid um so we could try Mohamed salah also four star three star uh, or we could go and get the team of the year mané um you know we'd play him would probably have to switch around how we uh, set up the team. Um, but, you know, he's 2.4 million. We can get there over the next few weeks. 
pick him up, even on five chemistry, which is where we'd probably get him as a right wing off chem with just one soft link. Um, he'd still be a super, super card. So that's probably the plan with the team going forwards. And that's where we're at with the account right now. Um, I don't think, is there a daily SBC available that I could do? I still don't know whether I want to do Sanchez, Triore. We could go and get Triore as our right wing. He's only got a two-star weak foot too, but high medium work rates. Um, we, we've got a lot of potential with some of these things. This this Shah, now there's only one hour left on him. If I was to get him, it would have to be now. It really would have to be now. How much is he going for? 130k with two packs back. I feel like we should. if we Because if we get Robertson at left back and put Shah at centre back... We then have a good Premier League back line. And this Shah card is another brilliant card. You know, you pop an anchor on him and uh, he's got some really, really good stats. And he's a good card for just all future, S, uh, you know, future objectives. He's got good passing, good dribbling. I think I'm going to get involved in him. He's got four-star weak foot as well. Do you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. We're going to go and get this uh, Fabian Shah. We need an 85 rated squad, which I'm pretty sure I have. I don't know how many untradeable 85s I have right now. Um, let's have a look. I think, did we use some of the untradables? I think we used a whole bunch of the untradables. I can't, oh, I think for uh, Eden Hazard, I used a couple of the untradable players. We've got Hyungmin Son, who I'm not going to use. Uh, we've got a Kimmich and an Isco untradable. So that's a couple of 86s, which would be really good for the uh, chemistry and such. What else we got there? Gareth Bale, no, is alone. None of that that I want to use. Uh, Donnarumma and Lukaku, Icardi, very nice. So yeah, we have got... Uh, we have got a whole bunch of um, untraded. We've got that Chris Smalling now as well. I forgot we got him yesterday. He'll be a good one to use. And then we've got... So that's it for the 85s. And then into the 84s, this is where we've got plenty. So as an 85-rated squad with what we've got for some of the other untradables, unless I can't get the chemistry, we should be able to put together most of the team with untradable cards here for this, this higher-rated squad. And then we have got an abundance of, um, of 83-rated cards... Maybe we'll stick with a Serie A because I had a few Serie A cards there. We've got a fair few Premier League players as well. Oh, we had uh, Icardi, so we can pop him in too. Um, let's just have a look where we're at right now. Let's take those couple of Brazilians actually as well. Let's take Sarabia too because we do have then three PSG players that we can link quite kindly together. Um, Tadic to swap with... Where is he? Icardi. Um, Kimmich can go out there. Do we have another... Another player to link with him? No. Um, let's pop uh, him in there. Let's, yeah, see, I, I don't think... I'm, I think I'm going to have to go and use a few... Um, a few other a few other players to help link them all together. We're 83 rated right now with this squad, but we are miles off on the chemistry. Oh, actually, maybe not. Let's get Lucas Laver in there. That's an 84 rated squad. Let's pop him in instead of uh, him there. That's 60 chemistry with that Lucas Laver. Let's pop an 84. How does that change? That doesn't change. Let's pop in an 85. That doesn't change. And let's pop in an 86. That doesn't change either. So how about an 85 over an 84? That's not enough. How about an 85 over an 83? That's not enough either. So we're going to have to put in a, probably a couple more 84s and, and such. So let me go to the uh, Syria and just pick up what we've got as tradable cards in the club. Um... We have got, I mean, I have got plenty. I just don't want to, I don't want to like over, oh, there you go. Bonucci and Pjanic should be great for this. We should be able to pick up our chem points very easily. So there's, there is a bit more chemistry. So that's an 86. Let me try an 86 for an 85 now. Right, so that's the rating there. We just don't have the chemistry. What we can do is pop him over there. Get an 83 striker. Or, yeah, or Sammy Kadir or something. So let's pop uh, him there. Let's swap these two around here. We are getting there. We are one chem point away. How are we going to uh, achieve that chem point? Pop him there. Pop him there. What about putting Lucas Laver in there? And then Sammy Kadir in there. And then Pablo Sarabia in there. And then... Damn it. Idrissa Gay is the one that's causing a problem. So I will just convert uh, Isco down to a centre mid. 
and that would give us the chemistry. So we've got plenty of camp sentiment cards, so that's not too much of a problem. It gives us two chem points. That's the first squad done, mostly untradeable there, which is quite nice. Only the two tradable players, Benucci and um, Pjanic, that we picked up doing God knows what over the uh, last few days. We get a premium gold players pack for this as well. Not the best pack in the world, but can we get something good out of it anyway? I can't even tell if that's a board or not. It's, it's not. It's a Champions League card, but it's going to be one of those dead ones. Um, so let's have a look what it is. Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't have any uh, trade pile space. Didn't think this through. Fortunately enough, most of this stuff is dead cards. So we're just going to have to discard that. We've got 3,000 more coins in the bank, I suppose. And then an 83 rated squad with a Premier League player and a Team of the Week player. Now, fortunately, again here, we have got plenty of... Um, Plenty of untradables, plenty of Premier League untradables, plenty of 83, 84 rated Premier League untradables, some informs we've got as well. Don't want to use Gabriel Jesus. I don't mind using that Marcus Rashford. I'd probably prefer to keep him. He can go. He can go. Stones can go. Um, do I want to use... Where's, there's Yeri Mina can come in as the inform. He can go. So that's what we'll do for the Premier League there. Actually got a decent little setup there. Now if I just go for my 83s, Let's go for the um let's go for the La Liga 83s, I suppose. They got like plenty more. He's untradeable as well, which is nice. We've got an 84, so that Vidal can go in there. And let's just go and get some more La Liga untradables, and we'll be in a, a good spot with this team then. 84, 80. Oh god, a couple of 83s. Don't know if I'm gonna get the chemistry with that. I might have to go and get some non-untradables. Would be nice, obviously. Oh, I don't know, actually. We could be okay. Felipe, we could put in at centre CDM there. That's 68 chemistry. Are we actually going to get the rating? That's 82 rated. That's eight, that is 83 rated, but we're just one chem point away. But let me go and get some tradables, because if, if we can fit an 82 or something in there... Oh, look at this club. My, my account is stacked. Um, let's take Thomas Party. Let's take uh, Adariz and Santi Cazorla. And we'll see what we can do with these guys right here. If we can make, A, the, the rating come down. Sorry, the... Yeah, see, that's still an 83, and that's the chemistry. And that's still an 83, which is nice. And then can we get away with one more 82? Yes, we can. Very nice. Can we get away with another 82? All right, we can. Now, can we drop Illaramendi in? No, so that's the threshold with the 84s. Yeah, there we go. That's it. So I've done Fabian Shah. I didn't really expect to do him. I, if, if he had more than a day left or more than a couple of hours left. I probably wouldn't have done him today right here. Um, but I, I just think in terms of squad building and, um, you know, putting together some fun squads for icon swaps or for fun squads for foot champs, in terms of developing this squad and putting in the better players moving forwards, uh, making sure that we have good, a good ability to, to build squads whilst, whilst we're working up through everything is uh, very, very important. And then we get one more pack from that uh, a premium mixed players pack and then we'll go ahead and do the daily uh, SBC unless the daily SBC is a terrible pack for a high price what have we got so the daily SBC is 7k for a prime election players pack yeah I'm not getting involved in that never in a million years um, I don't know what the uh, the objectives are or the spe specifications are we are looking at seven rares two golds same nation Oh, so, eh. no, no, we should be able to do this. Let, let's go, let's go. I've, I've got plenty of untradeable players, um, so we should be able to do this without having to really delve into much past what we've got going on. Um, so headliners challenge right here. So we can take... Um, so I need some golds. Gold players is minimum two, but you need untradeable on let's go to the french league and see what french league so this is a 74 rated squad and i need some rares you need seven rares altogether so french league is not the one for me how about the syria i don't think i have many untradeable gold low rated syria players i don't i don't even know if i have many untradeable low rated players in general that are gold because i use them all everything all the time yeah um right so let's just go and get um the let's just go and get the league of nos which is always a good one to get uh, for cheap golds. And then we'll pick up some of the positions. Um, he can go in there. He can go in. Yeah, a load of these 80s and 81s can all go in. And we'll uh, we'll be able to use some bronzes after that. Now, isn't it the same club? Same nation, maximum one. So I'll pop him in. Uh, Mexico, Portugal, 
Brazil. Um, we can throw him in there. Akuna can go in as well. And Morega can go in. That's our golds and most of our rares. Now, because we only need a low-rated squad, we can get away with now not having to use gold players. And we've got some bronzes. So there's one. We're still in fine for the same nation. Can't use either of those guys. So we can throw something else in there because we've already got almost all of the chemistry. We've already got Portuguese and Brazilian as well. Uh, so we can't use those. Centre mid, Portuguese, we've got Brazilian, we've got... Okay, so we're sen sensing a theme here. Uh, let's pop him there. Let's pop him there. Um, and let's go and get from one of the lower leagues. Because we can get away with some bronzes now. Some uh, some centre-backs and right-backs. Hopefully we've got like a Scottish or an Irish or a French even. Better yet, French right, French right centre-back there. An English right-back there. Another English centre mid here. Well, not an English or an Irish centre mid there works. And that's our rating and our chemistry. So I can throw anything here. Uh, we can just have a look at whatever it is. Uh, just, just a nation that we don't have, basically. We've already got Ireland. Um, oh, there you go. That striker will do. Probably more rares than I need to put in. More rating than I need to put in as well. But there you go. So before we get into the goals and the gameplay for today, um, this is going to be uh, the last last little section here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we pack a headliner. I haven't packed one yet. We opened a fair few packs. Now, I dismissed this Prime Election Players pack, so maybe it's going to give us something good. It's not. And that's why I didn't really want to do it. It's, it just... It wasn't worth it. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be worth it. EA have done a good job in making these um, these packs recently. Just absolutely not worth it. Although we do get a Frankfurt uh, player there. We get Biglia again. But that's where we're at. So uh, let's, guys, get into some action. All right, guys. As we go into some Foot Champs games today, I don't know if I showed you guys my record. I'm currently 11-1. and one. Um, I, I will play to at least Gold 3 today. And, and I will progress on depending on how the day goes. I've got a few things to do still. Uh, this evening as time of recording this video it's almost 6 p.m so whatever the 6 p.m content is uh which might not be anything on a sunday and then uh we're also going to have um a draft for the main channel once i've done that and then got up to 14 wins we'll see how the time is see 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 what's going on and uh, we'll push on from there maybe we'll get to 17 20 maybe we'll play all 30 games who knows it depends on you know how many rage quits we get and, and just generally how we're feeling playing this game uh but we've got some comments from the last video the first one is from sonaldo is king says please tell me why when i buy a player they plummet in price the day after yet when i sell someone they double in price happens every time funnily enough we spoke about this this video and uh i bought um trent alexander arnold at a, a low price at the time of 990,000 coins he was 960,000 coins well interestingly enough he's now back up there's three under 995 now so he's, he's popped back up i don't know what what's happening with that i don't know why it happens but um that's one of the things that uh i guess went wrong a little bit for me and the other thing that went a little bit wrong for me but also went right for me in, in the same vein of, of the comment is i bought Lewandowski at 605 because i thought it was a bargain price he shot up to 800k and i didn't sell uh and then he slowly started dropping back down 790 780 i sold him for what 760 i think so i still made some good profit for whatever reason he's now up again at like 860k uh which is nearly his max 1 million coin bin maybe because he scored some goals today or a goal today maybe because Bayern Munich won today and that's the first win of four for him to get an upgrade um but ultimately yeah it's uh it like you just can't you you're never going to get everything bang on right all the time and you've just got to accept your wins and losses in the coin market and start using that as lessons on when to buy when to sell tracking that data and stuff but yeah for me uh very much similar to a few of you guys every time i buy someone they seem to just plummet in price and every time i sell someone they seem to just rise high in price um and then sometimes i don't buy the obvious um players even though it's like too obvious and sometimes it's because it is too obvious so for example when mbappe and neymar went down to the 600k 620 mbappe went down to uh when team of the year was you know i think it was the day before team of the year or the day yeah literally the day before team of the year 620k for killian mbappe and it's very similar for neymar like 650 for neymar i just thought to myself 1.2 1.3 million for the pair of them uh we paid 1.3 million for neymar just a month or so ago so in my head i'm thinking i should buy these now because they're surely going to go up in price so i can either sell them and make profit or just have neymar and mbappe for super super cheap relatively to you know relative to all other cards um and i didn't because i thought no but what if 
what if they just keep tanking? What if they go down into the fives and fours and then I'm just going to have lost hundreds of thousands of coins for two players that I don't particularly care about at that time because my aim was set for the, um, you know, for the full team of the year. And now Mbappe from 622 has gone up to 760k. And so there, you know, obviously over 100k profit would have been there, give or take for tax. And then for Neymar, he's now 740k and he was down as low as 650. So again, you know, good, good bit of profit potentially missed out on there just because I didn't buy at the right time. So th this market's just weird like that. Um, Exotic Envy says, Nep, can you please do more Guess Who with Vocal Fish? Love the content, keep it up. I, I absolutely am interested in doing more um, collaborations. In fact, I want to kind of design my own series that will be collaborative. Uh, specifically, I want to do it through draft. Uh, not quite like my draft, my theme draft challenges with A&I skills, which I'm excited to bring back, you know, back in towards the summer again this year when we do those theme draft challenge videos. But I would like like a skilled... Uh, draft video that involves a challenge and a discard of some sort because it should just be fun um, so yeah we're, we're going to try and figure something out for that uh, and then we've got uh, Thomas de Jong says which two players are you going to pick from season objectives so I already spoke earlier on about the fact that I'm going to take Felipe Anderson over Awa for the two centre backs from Serie A I don't really know um, they both have their benefits the Japanese centre back with a five star week for obviously links to the other Japanese centre back from the uh, milestone players so that's obviously a big positive there. Um, and then the... Look at those goals from De Bruyne, man. He's insane. And then um, Caceres, strong, well, soft links to Aguirre Garay, who is such a good right back. However, I now have team of the year Trent. So am I ever really going to use him? And have I, am I ever really going to use uh, the Japanese centre-back? So in terms of those two players, I don't particularly know. But at the end of it, I'm definitely taking Felipe Anderson. He just has way more about himself uh, than our in my personal opinion and then Kane knows for the last comment says for the record nep in regards to gameplay comments in this video the gameplay aspect of the video has been far better to watch with the increased amount of live comms of the games especially in draft of glory and i have been seeing lots of comments about how people enjoy the live gameplay a lot more uh, but obviously what that goes against is the whole route of the road to glory the road to glory is post comms taking comments from the comment section discussing the ins and outs of fifa and we lose that aspect of the road to glory when we play live gameplay so although it's been very fun um absolutely fun uh for, for the videos for when we've done some live content and chopped up the goals and a lot of that is done on stream um it's one of those things that already initiates a change that we're uh we're we're kind of fighting against at the moment but we'll probably succumb to eventually um so we end up winning another game there 3-2 11 and 1 is my record after 12 games really happy with that if we can even get to like 14 and 3 or 14 and 4 for goal 3 i'll just be happy with that but this guy is going to be the end of the video for today if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace